Steve, your first impressions from camp. And of course, I was alluding to Devin Brown and honoring the great uh, Sammy Baugh, number 33, the first quarterback in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was a little disconcerting yesterday to look out there and see a black 33. That's a first for uh, me. And um, I'm thinking like, oh, they've gone so far as to put Jack Sawyer in a no contact jersey. That's interesting, isn't it? But alas, it was not Jack Sawyer. It was Devin Brown. I looked on my roster and I didn't see him there at number 15, I think, which is what he wore last year. Of course, they brought in a a freshman tight end, Jelani Thurman. Uh, who, as I will digress, definitely looks the part at 6'6", 250-some pounds, and he wears number 15 now. I've got a picture of him in my photo gallery I did. He looks good, but uh, Brown wearing number 33, an homage to Sammy Ball, the first quarterback elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame back in the 60s, and whatever that means, I I don't know, but uh, that's kind of uh, his thing, I guess, growing up. He wore the number 33. So, um, you know, bully for him. If that makes him happy, makes him comfortable and uh, whatever, it was certainly a conversation piece yesterday. But obviously what's most important is uh, who can throw the football and who can make plays for the Ohio State offense. And that's something that Ryan Day and Corey Dennis and Brian Hartline, they're going to get down to brass tacks here over the next 14 practices and figure that out. We couldn't gauge a whole lot yesterday from that just because uh, they were practicing basically in jerseys and helmets, no pads for the first couple of days. And uh, obviously when they get back after spring break next week is when uh, the pads will go on and and things will change a little bit. So uh, that's when you'll know a little bit more about uh, who's going to actually play for this team in the fall. But uh, Tony, I saw talent at every position group up and down the line, side to side, Look like some major upgrades in the secondary, and um, I'm ready. I, I I saw enough yesterday to say this team looks like it's going to be right back up there again this year. Well, those are the expectations, and you, you know the the Devin Brown thing is just funny to me because I, I didn't see it. Uh, my cohort Tom or um, you know shows me that roster is like oh and and check out Devin Brown. And you see him wearing 33, and then you go out there, and it's just so, so bizarre. You look at him, and I'm thinking maybe he's taking this running quarterback thing to the next level by just going with a running back's number. Uh, you know, we, we've seen jerseys in the 20s. Heath Schuler at quarterback, you know, Shea Patterson did it. Devin Gardner was 98 as a, a school jersey, you know, thing. I've this would be something entirely new and it will be something entirely new. And if he can win the job to have a number 33 quarterback would be interesting. It will, it will bring attention is what Ryan day told him. Like, you know, people are going to notice it because it's not typical. So just be prepared for that. But then as I asked Ryan day, like, isn't that something you kind of want your starting a a guy competing to be the starting quarterback has no worries about, Oh, this is just going to give me more attention because it's nothing to him. It's like, that's just the real thing is the job and I'm okay having attention put upon me. And so it, it may be a minor thing, but it's just interesting to me that he's okay with that and is accepting of that and isn't shying away from more attention because it's already going to have tons of attention on you. 